much to our joy. Quite a few new restaurants have been opening up around Metro Detroit over the last couple of months. If you've been looking for a new sandwich shop to check out, our assignment editor, Jeff Popovich, has just the place on your block in Warren. Dedication, representation, and giving back to her community. Just a few words to describe the character and mission of Alice Nguyen, owner of 88 Ban Mian Bowl in Warren. Alice immigrated to the United States from Vietnam when she was 18. Her pursuit of the American dream began as a nail technician here in Metro Detroit. Five years later, Alice aspired to not only share her Vietnamese culture with Metro Detroit, but to open her very own restaurant featuring the staple of her nation's cuisine, the banh mi sandwich. It's been like five years since the first time I want to open a banh mi shop, but and then it didn't happen for until this year. Um, I get the idea because in Michigan, I want to bring Vietnamese culture, especially banh mi, to everybody. So what is banh mi? It's a casual sandwich on buttered short baguette bread with a mayonnaise or liver pate spread, often packed with a selection of meats and a variety of sliced vegetables. The sandwich emerged during French colonial rule in the early 1900s. The French introduced baguette bread to Vietnamese cuisine, which would go on to influence the banh mi. According to Alice, there are a few key ingredients to what makes a good banh mi sandwich. Have to have a good bread first. They have to have a freshly bread, the fresh, freshly baked daily, and the most important thing is butter and pate. Is the is the the hidden germ right there. If you have no good butter or pate, that homemade is the banh mi gonna fail. And the banh mi have to make with love. That's the secret right there. Along with wanting to see more Vietnamese representation around Detroit, Alice highlighted some important values to her culture that play an active role at 88 Banh Mi, family and community. Alice attributes most of her success and support to her mother, who inspired the menu and is a driving force in the kitchen seven days a week. So for this business, I'm really glad that I have my mom help me full time with this. She making a fresh breath every day to make sure that everything good. She checked out and then she gave me all the idea to come up with all the menu and stuff too because she, she got more experience on, on, on life and on how people react to a lot of things. This tight-knit kitchen honors its traditions and culture, focusing on their community and giving to those in need or who need support. Alice and her team bake daily batches of baseball-sized toasted buttered bread slices. The crew then bags them up for distribution in Detroit at the end of each week and for the holidays. In Thanksgiving and um, Christmas, uh, me and the team want to come down to Detroit and uh, go to um, whoever need, like we're going to gather the group to cook for homeless people in Detroit because we have family here, but they're not. So we love to spread out all the love from us to them. As her Bon Me business grows, Alice does plan to open more locations around Metro Detroit. She has her sights set on areas like Rochester, Ann Arbor, and Novi. While Alice explained her goals, I noticed a common theme that connected them all. Alice's gratefulness for her family and friends around her, the very bonds that fuel the future of 88 Bon Me. Jeff Popovich, CBS News, Detroit.